Greetings, family. How you doing? This is your boy, Jedediah, a.k.a. Black. Come on in the live. Do me a favor and share it. And so, as you all know, uh, today, if you remember, if you remember, um, and I'm just still so blessed by this because two victims out of several, you all helped me yesterday to get the resources to... Um, help one avoid eviction and another one be overwhelmed by a economic uh burden we were able to alleviate that together and for that i am eternally grateful i don't know how i sound i don't know if my video co sound quality is good so that's a little bit of why i'm talking loud because i don't know how good this video is right now but uh because of that, I told you all that I was going to be releasing uh, some more receipts, some more receipts. OK. And I told you guys that I was going to be releasing receipts today uh, concerning Andrew Holmes. Y'all remember that. Um, and let me give the validation of why we're doing that this this way. I can't do this all by myself. I said all the time I need support. A lot of people are being very supportive and I appreciate it, but you all giving me the resources to do the work. That means that I'm employed by the people. I do understand that I am to be responsive, but I'm also to be a steward and responsible, but I'm out here. I'm doing the work at no time in this whole ordeal have one dime been spent on me. And so I feel okay asking for people to give resources because we in this thing together but in an exchange of it if y'all my boss i have an obligation i have a duty to report to my boss to give an update on progress so we were going to stop and investigate this the, the investigation part portion because you seen the fbi came in and it was like what else needs to be done but we still have hundreds of tips that we're still ciphering through and that put us right back in the seat of investigations uh give me giving you guys a second to share the live i'm also trying to make this make sense so this is not entertaining it's not fun i need y'all to understand that today i have not slept i have not eaten so i might be a little jaded a little rough around the edges uh but we're gonna get this done and one of the things that i just pinned from one of my team members Val is ways you can resource this work so we are going to be releasing receipts today but we're not just going to be releasing receipts today we're also investigating because let me be very clear here I don't have any personal vendetta against Andrew Holmes that is a rumor that is baseless speculation I was brought into Dalton, as I said on other videos, because of the sexual assault allegations against Andrew Holmes, now confirmed in a federal lawsuit. Dalton trustee, community advocate, CTA working, Andrew Holmes. And so why have I been pressing so hard? Because instead of doing what he requires everybody else to do that he quote unquote calls out, when their name is mentioned, he has not done any of that and lost his credibility. So I am one of the ones who understand the law, innocent until proven guilty. But I am not going to discount anybody saying that they were taken advantage of. And so with that being said, we got to get to the bottom of it. But let's be very clear here in this investigation. If we discover that Andrew Holmes is innocent, which I don't think that will be the result. I am confident that will not be the result. But hypothetically speaking, if Andrew Holmes is found to be not guilty of this situation, I'll apologize. I will do what I can to undo the advocacy against him. However, we got to get to the bottom of it. And so one of the things that we need to understand is why hasn't there 
been charges. And so on the live right now, this is the first part of today, we're going to try to discover as much as we can about Las Vegas and their investigation into the sexual assault allegations of Andrew Holmes. One of the things about people who are who have been sexually assaulted, they often feel like they won't be supported or have backup or be believed or are afraid. A lot of the times they're villains because of their background or their reach. These people feel like their coming forward won't come out to anything. How do I know? Because in this situation alone, I've talked to 14 people mm. who have all made allegations against this same individual. We're going to go now and we're going to start because I can't do everything remote. But y'all, let people talk all they want to. But I'm out here. I'm doing the work. And I appreciate y'all for giving me this chance. So with that being said, we are here in Las Vegas. I have a, I was here before. We didn't go live at that time trying to figure it out. We're still trying to figure it out. I don't know all the answers. I have to get the answers. Now, all of the people that's in my inbox begging me for help, watch this live and how a citizen, I don't know if I'll get anywhere, but how a citizen fights. Where are we at? Our first stop today, and remember, we're going to be releasing receipts at some point today concerning this investigation. But we come to the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department Convention Center and Area Command. Let's figure it out. Metro. Yeah, so there's the Las Vegas police and then there's Metro. We're going to everybody. Shake up Las Vegas a little bit. My bad. Where is the... Oh, it's right in front of me. Okay. Check in here. I don't know how to get nobody attention. Okay, there's a little glass. Metro, I think there's... Hello? Okay, well, this is strange. Hi, how are you doing? Um, I'm trying to basically talk to somebody about a sexual assault investigation. Me? Yes. Okay. Not a problem. Do you have an incident number available? I don't have the incident number at this time. So I'm just going to need an ID so I can go ahead and pull it up by your name. It wouldn't be uh, Andrew Holmes would be the name of the accused. Are you listed on the report? Not on this particular report. Okay. So then why are you needing information? I, I have tips and we as a public are concerned about the progress of the investigation. Okay. Um, I can, I can uh, pass on your information to the detective who would be assigned. I can't tell you if they're going to give you any information or not because you're not listening. I said, I got tips. So I was also interested in knowing who that was. My understanding that it was a female that was over the investigation, but we've not gotten a response. Okay. So I'm, I flew here because uh -huh. I need to get the response. Okay. So they're not going to be here at our location. So they're not um, at this area of command. Um, they, why is there a headquarters? Um, what's your, your last name? 
My last name is Brown. Jed, J E D. Okay, and you don't have a case number or anything like that? No, I'll get it. I don't have it on me at the moment. Okay. Um, let me see. I know the names. Okay, what are the names? Andrew Holmes. The report was made, it was also reported in the media that South Holland Police Department also forwarded to you all and was working in tandem with you guys with the investigation. Okay. Um, last year, around what month? Uh, okay. Oh, shit. You can help him real quick. Let me get my, my thing on okay. and then I'll, I'll get it back to you. Okay. Okay. So you guys, we are going to have to get the, oh shit. We gotta get the, uh, I'm not gonna put that information on the live, but I am going to get it so I can help her find it. No, so right now, um, to my team, can you please do? So as I told you guys, today is going to be a long day. I don't expect this to be a quick or easy day. Um, it's not gonna be. It's gonna be a long day, but we are going to be hard at work trying to get some answers right here in Las Vegas. I'm gonna to have to come off of this live and come back. We may have to go to another location and I have to go get some important information that I should have been able to pull up right away, but I wasn't able to. So I gotta get that. But you guys, make sure you tune in today as we investigate, we get to the bottom of this while there are no charges. Yeah. Hello, family. How y'all doing? Uh, so we are now at our second location, which is now the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department headquarters. This is one hell of a impressive complex. Appears to be three buildings. Three buildings that make up police headquarters. So if you're just coming in and you don't know what's going on, we are here in Las Vegas trying to get answers as it relates to the investigation of sexual assault against Chicago advocate Andrew Holmes. I do have the information. I do have a team. I do have people who are helping me. Sometimes I don't always remember stuff well. I am 38. <laughs> so y'all, here we go. Let's go in and figure it out. Hello. Thank you. Wow. Pretty spiffy. How you doing? Hi. I was trying to figure out who do I talk to for an update on the sexual assault investigation. Okay. Did you make a report already on it? It's a report made. Oh, okay. Then the, the officers for that, the detectives and stuff, are in this next building over here, building A. Them, okay. Yeah, you go down the sidewalk and straight into the next building. Thank you. Sounds to me. So the very core, this is what advocacy looks like. Um, you don't always get to do things from behind the computer and remote, remote. We are a triune, we investigate, we advocate, we educate, and we just cause hell. Okay, so hopefully we don't have to get to the fourth step. Hopefully today we can just get the answers and it'd be, it'd be decent, but we'll figure it out. 
I don't know. I think I said this before. I don't know these answers. I don't know how Las Vegas does things. We've done a little bit of research, but I don't have, I don't have the answers. So we got to get them. Hello. You sure? Okay. Hello, how you doing? So I'm here because I'm trying to get an update on a sexual assault uh, investigation, as well as maybe speak to the detectives about the case. Okay, do you have an appointment? I don't. Okay. Um, are you a victim at all? I am a community advocate, and I am also uh, connected in researching this, in, in this incident and have tips, have information for the case as well. Sexual assault? Yes, sir. Okay, Bill, shut up and watch an expert. We don't need your commentary. We don't need your discouraging bullshit. No, they're not going to tell you because you ain't never going to show up and get no answer. Shut your mouth. Bill, you're going to get blocked. I don't like you. Okay, I'm not crazy. I'm talking to my lab, not myself. Okay. So you got, you got motherfuckers always talking about what ain't going to happen. I ain't been asleep in two days. We've been doing this research for literally around the clock. I don't give a fuck who don't like it. I don't give two dams about what ain't gonna happen. You sit your goofy ass on here, you watch, you listen, you learn. I don't wanna hear nobody's opinion because today I don't give a fuck. And if you open your mouth, you're gonna get blocked and you can go talk on your page and you're not gonna get nobody paying attention because you don't do shit, but talk about what everybody else is doing. Yes, they will give you the information if you know how to get it. This ain't my first rodeo, so shut the fuck up, Bill. Yeah, I've had enough. I ain't got. I'm not playing with nobody. I've had enough. I got people threatening my life. People putting paperwork on me. I'm ain't getting no sleep. I'm not eating. I ain't fucking. People don't think I deserve to get one dollar. I ain't got no, I'm not getting no money from this. Nobody in the public paying for my flight. Y'all ain't paying my team. None of this shit. Okay. So shut up. Thank you. Now, if you are going to resource the work, what you are going to resource so that you understand is that we're preparing for hell week. I'm not asking nobody to pay for this. When we say resource the fight, we are going to pay people if they give us leads and tips and information so that we can do what we're doing right here today. Um, also, if we're going to help a victim, but right now we're trying to get past the investigate phase and get to the organizing phase. But this is what happens a lot of times. Y'all trust these officials behind these closed doors to do whatever they're going to do. And they don't do it because they feel like the people don't care. When you put public pressure on it and when you make them, when you let them know that this matters, you see a lot of movement and traction. That's why every time I show up, shit starts moving because I come, I ain't coming by myself. I'm in this building by myself, but right now I got 192 motherfuckers. I mean, not, I mean to call y'all motherfuckers, 192 people. This probably ain't the live this year. I'm probably about to start this one over. <laughs> Girl, I can't. Nah, I ain't fucking. I can't fuck because I'm looking for God to do a miracle. You hear me? When you need God to do something, you got to make some sacrifices. <laughs> and then you also got to know how to talk. That's why I said, yes, no, I'm not a victim. I'm an advocate. Everybody knows what an advocate is. And then you say, I also have tips. What What is my goal? My goal isn't for them to give me the information because I probably got it already because I've been working my ass off. However, we want to confirm who the person is that's investigating it. We want to get it. We want to know if there's still an investigation going on. Yes, sir. Sex crimes. Sex crimes. Uh -huh. And I'm calling them. 
tell them what you need or what you want. Are they in the building though? Yeah. So can I speak to somebody? Because I also have. If you don't have an appointment to speak to the check-in, they generally will not come down. Okay, well then I need someone to at least give me understanding if there is an investigation, who the detective is. I don't. If I just call randomly, it's no better than me walking in the actual building. Yes, I have. That's what I said to you. I have tips. Huh? Do you have an event number? Uh, I have the report number, yes. Okay. Uh, is it you? Yes, I can get that for you right now. So, yeah, I think it'll be great if somebody could help me not keep running around. It's my second location. I had to get a flight here. Yeah, so yeah, I need to speak to somebody. So here, so here are the number. Huh? I understand that. Do you want the number so we can? Let me see what you have. What? Read the number to me. Let me see the number to me. Okay, I'm going to read the number to you. You want the report number, right? We call it the number. There it is. Oh, okay, that's a different department. Police okay, as reported in the media, this department is where the report was taken. The report was sent to you guys by the South Island Police Department. And as reported in the media, you guys are working on it together. Okay, call sex crimes, but I'm but I'm at sex crimes. Okay, thank you. We're gonna do that. All right, um, Mayday, Mayday, as you guys know, why I can't call sex crimes and be on live at the same time. Um, hmm. Okay. I'm going to chew their ass out. Let somebody come in here talking about they got a tip and y'all can't get past the front desk. Okay. Val, as a matter of fact, let me do this. Because this is how we're going to have to play this thing because I, you guys know why I can't do it. Oh, Lord. So anyway, again... I don't want to give him a horrible time, but I ain't going to let him turn me away either. Damn it. Okay. Okay. Let's have some fun. <laughs> I need everybody on this live to make a phone call to sex crimes in Las Vegas. And I need everybody to tell them on tie up their motherfucking lines and tell sex crimes. We need them to get somebody to come into the lobby of their building because we want to know about the, the sexual assault allegations of Andrew Holmes. Here go the number 702-828-3921. Let's show them what public pressure looks like. See, come on. This is y'all. We're going to get the... Trying to tell y'all. Did y'all get that number? 702-828-3921. Everybody calls sex crimes. We want somebody to come downstairs to the lobby to speak to us about the sexual assault and to receive tips and to let us know if there's still an investigation. Who was the detective? Do y'all, y'all, y'all finna. Ooh, I told y'all today was gonna be a crazy day. Let's get it done. 702 828 3921. For those of you all who are contributing to this cause, again, y'all see we're doing the work. Thank you for that. Those of you all who, who are participating, thank you for that. Now let's make Bill out of a liar. <laughs> 702-828-3921. Y'all go get that done. You can come back to live and still be on here. Let's do this together. Sex crimes. 
We want to know why they ain't been in arrest. We want to know who the detective is on the case. We want to give them tips. We want them to understand that it's this matters to all of us. And if Las Vegas don't want a hundred niggas to come down here with this nice tourist Mecca and raise hell, then they need to get us some results. Andrew Holmes, we're doing advocacy right now. Let me teach you something. Let me learn you something. 702-828-3921. Sex crimes, come to the lobby. We're doing this now, Chris. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Cause you be coming in discouraging and trying to distract. You do it all the time. I've seen you do it too many times. This is the power of the people. Thank y'all. On behalf of the victim, thank y'all. If she see this, right. Since she want to speak on it. you, She's going to be grateful that people finally got her back. Uh-oh. Somebody just called him out. They are calling the number, but who is she? She could come talk to me since she's giving instructions and running from the camera. I'm sorry? She running from the camera. She can come and give me instructions since she want to speak on it. Who was she? She told you now. Yeah, who was she? That person right there? Yes. She's from upstairs somewhere. Right. You told me to call upstairs. She's from upstairs, and she said they can call. So who was she? What's her name? I don't know. You don't know her. Oh, you just took orders from somebody and you don't know their name. That's correct. So let me ask you a question. I just told you I have a, a, a tip for sexual assault and you're not helping me get to them. You guys are gatekeeping. Does that, do you think that's a great thing to do, uh, Russ? I don't know what, if, let me tell you something. I'm not a detective. I don't work sex crime. I work as a general right. in between all the detectives in here. Okay. So now you're in my way. So you're working to be in my way for a sexual assault. Russ, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to the detectives, a supervisor, maybe her. What did that person tell you? She didn't tell me nothing because I heard her talking to you. But no, did you talk to her on the phone? No. Did you call her? We're calling now. You have a ton of people calling. But I'm standing in the building and she just came downstairs. You call. Excuse me? Call. You don't what? You just call. What you just say? Call. No, what you say before that? Call. That you don't what? No, you said you don't care. No. Russ, be careful. It's on video. They're going to keep calling, but I'm not going to sit here and play with y'all. I need to speak to somebody about sexual assault. Somebody who was un... It was not them they were taking advantage of. Your department is supposed to be investigating it. I need to talk to somebody. Thank you. You make the call. <sighs> Fucking crazy. Can never just be easy. The lady just came downstairs and said, tell them to call the number. I don't know who she is, but she clearly knows what's going on for her to come down here. And I just call her doing that. And then when I came up there, she wants to run. She ran from back there. So... Now they playing games for no reason. And I know I just got him on that thing saying he don't care. This is why we can't have confidence invest in investigations. This is why you don't say nobody has been charged. This is why you don't say let the process work itself out because that's not how it goes. You got daughters? Huh? You got daughters? Do you have a daughter? Yeah. Okay, so if your daughter was sexually assaulted, do you think that I would want somebody, do you want somebody to be blocking from give, giving tips? I'm just in touch with the people that can help. You're calling them? 
Nobody's answering. It's going straight to voicemail. But I'm standing in the building. And I just told you I have tips. So somebody's coming to talk to me? I have somebody coming to talk to me. Thank you. It's about time. We could have did that a long time ago, Russ. So something is wrong because, like I said, they, that woman came downstairs and she basically didn't know that I was standing right there. And she said something to him, but I could hear her. And they was talking about what this is. And then she said, just tell him to keep calling the number. And I heard her. And then when I came around the corner, she tried to quickly get out of the way of my camera's view. So make y'all leave, leave, leave voicemails because we're going to have to have all of this. We're going to have to have all of this. Jed, the number is human resources. I know you fucked a lot. Russ, was that the number for human resources? Sex crimes. Everybody that's calling is getting human resources. So can we double check the number, please? I don't have to. I know it's the correct number. What's the number you have? One second, Russ. Well, look who coming to talk to me. Uniform. Y'all coming to talk to me? How you doing? How can we talk to you? What's your name? Officer DeSouza. Badge number? 13979. What's your name? Jackson. Badge number? 15020. Okay, I'm here because I need to speak to detectives that are investigating a sexual assault. I have tips for the case. I'm an advocate concerning the case. The case is in the media. We're not getting answers, and we need to understand, number one, is there an investigation still going on? And do they have the information that I'm trying to give them today? And we want to make sure that the investigation is full enough that they are also considering the obstruction because this case should have been dealt with a long time ago, but somebody obstructed justice by trying to stop it from being investigated when it happened. So I got to deal with that. Okay. But y'all not detectives. So why does why are uniformed officers been called on some person trying to come and make a tip to sex crimes? Make that make sense. He just, all they do is they call us when somebody comes up and they can't. So that's what they call us. So you just need to talk to sex crimes detectives. We want to understand. I bet. That's all I've asked for. Okay. You know who the detective is, my friend? There's a female detective. I can't remember her name. I have your, your number for your case. I got your victims and I have my tips. I got evidence that I think be very, very crucial to this case. And I need to make sure that this detective has it. When did this uh, case start? One second, sir. Let me give you that. Now y'all ain't gonna y'all gonna give my stuff back, right? No, there you go. Sure, no, you don't you can hold it. Nah, I'll let you hold number. Uh huh. Not your iPad, my no to. Nah, I ain't worried about you. You good? Oh, that's the okay. That's the the, the the court case number from the courthouse. That's the court case number. Yeah, so that's not our number. This is South Holland Police. Department. Right, that's from the South Holland Police Department. So you guys are doing a conjoined investigation. That's that's their police number. I mean, that's their oh, okay, their record. Right. Okay. Yeah. So we don't have one here. You all have, but I don't have that. You guys also have been re refusing for your request, so we don't know no numbers or nothing for from Las Vegas. Okay. Where did the crime occur? It happened here in Las Vegas, okay. but the incident was they it the, they went back to Chicago, and the victim had to make the report there. Okay. Victim of the crime was here at the time of the occurrence. Yes, sir. He's going to write that down. Do you have any, you don't have the second name or nothing for, for, uh, for us?
No, but I know the victim's name. I know the suspect's name. I got no event number for y'all. You know this this happened in March. I'm sure it, it, I mean, I hope it was. If it's a conjoined investigation. March of this year? March of last year. I don't know why they wouldn't if I got tips. If I got actual hardcore evidence and they wouldn't, I think the the the, the community would not like that. Do, do they have your nope. Nope. I've called so many times, bro. Too much, too much uh uh, I, I didn't leave voicemail. We don't do that, but I've called so many times and I've been dealing with this for about two weeks. I think I've called every other day for two weeks and I've got no response. Okay, who'd you, who'd you call? Um, sex crimes. And we've been trying to get to the detective. I know that it is a female. Uh, I think her name starts with a B, maybe. Last name starts with a B? I'm not sure. I know it's a B somewhere. Uh, possibly, I don't know, but that's what that's why I flew all the way here to find out because the calls ain't working. Okay. Um, but you said you did not leave a voicemail with your contact information. Nah. Okay. Why not? Because y'all the police. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I have to let her. Let her. She, if I call her every, if I call every other day and I keep saying this is when I'm calling, I'm calling and I'm talking to people. Eventually, they they should right, and I know they got call ID. I do. You'll be shocked how I know that, but yeah, I do know that. Fair. Well, I came now. Now I want to see him, and I'll stay here until I need, as long as y'all need me to. Man, appreciate it. Y'all y'all should tell them volunteers to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> they volunteer. I got it. Keep calling that number. Y'all leave voicemails. It says you gotta leave voicemails. I would leave my name. And my well, hell, I don't know. Okay, what are we doing? You all, we are here putting pressure and demanding a response as it relates to what's going on with the investigation into Andrew Holmes for sexual assault allegations. Everybody who sits back and waits for the police to give them answers need to take a look into Chicago where the clearance rate It's so fucking dismal, but it's crazy because Chicago citizens still don't move when murders happen. But we don't play those games. And I'm here, and we're going to get some results. Put that on my head. We're going to get some results. Give me one second. Detective Brittany. Thank you. Thank y'all. I love my people. I love all y'all. Her name is, okay, let me get, uh, I think it's Brittany Tommaso. It don't ring a bell? Okay. Okay, thank you. When did you find out the name Brittany Tommaso? Just a few seconds ago. It came across my screen. So, y'all, I have a issue um, with my phones because I think that Detective Cortez, 
that's standing on business or as a person. We love you too. So again, everybody that want to talk crap, this is when I say to y'all, please, 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 we're not playing. This isn't fake. This is not a joke. We're doing a real work as best we can. Y'all resource to fight. Resource to fight. It helps me have the staff and the backing and the information and the infrastructure to go the fucking distance. I need y'all to help me have the resources to organize Hell Week. We coming, Dalton. Mark, uh, on May 6th to the 11th, I'm coming. Now, if I got all the money or no money, I'm still coming. But y'all help me and don't let people who don't have the gall to do half of this tell you that this isn't worth help. Literally, if y'all can see Charles and Netta, and I ain't hating on them because I always think about this. Two niggas eating lunch, getting resources, and a lifestyle change is crazy to me. <laughs> Miss Netta got getting BBLs and all kind of shit. I can't even get a ham sandwich. Help me with the fight. I don't even need no money for me. I want to help these victims. I want to get, I want to be effective. Okay. Ooh, wee. It's a lot of cops coming in there. The word getting out. Second that you Potter. 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 Yes, sir. She got married. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany Potter. Okay. okay. That's her phone number. And somebody just says she on vacation. No, no, no. She's the only detective that's currently working right now. She's at jail. Okay. She's at jail. Not here right now. What's she do? No, 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 she's going to in. Yeah, no, 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 no
for themselves. This isn't my fight. So I'm not going to be reckless or irresponsible. I'm consulting lawyers. I'm consulting investigators. I'm consulting law enforcers. I'm consulting politicians. I'm consulting everybody. So before I give y'all the receipt, I got to make sure I do my due diligence. But by the end of the day, y'all going to have proof that you're doing the right thing. So we got Detective Potter, and we need her to officially be put on public notice. You cannot be complicit in this case. We want results, be it for or against, but don't have us fucking in limbo. Get us an ass. Did he do it? Are you charging him or no? Did you hear what I say? Jesus, I feel amazing. I feel good. I feel inspired. So I don't know. Uh, we're gonna, Like I said, we're going to go call Detective Potter. I'm going to get back to doing my investigation. But as of right now, there's nothing else for me to do at this exact moment. Will we? We have to come back here on sun Sunday. Greetings, family. How y'all doing? This is your boy, Jedediah. And I am going to uh, take my time on this video. Not gonna rush it for anybody. And I'm asking for your patience. But in any, in any rate, I'm really asking for you to find the time, if you cannot watch this full video right now, to come back and watch the remainder at some point. But before I go further, I need to make sure that you all are able to hear me talking. I have an earpiece in my ear and I don't know if I need to take it out or not. So let me know, most importantly right now, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Thank you, Shannon. The second thing, I'm gonna ask for you all to please do me a very huge favor. Share this particular live on the Dalton politics page. I'm asking that you will share this live or consider sharing this live on your page. To my team, I need you to make sure that you share this live on all of our outlets. Hey, Val. Before I get started, again, I'm gonna take my time. I will not rush. I'm gonna say that multiple times because there are multiple people coming in. The first thing, I want to apologize for the day delay. I was supposed to brought you guys a receipt yesterday. And thanks for you guys resourcing this work and this fight. But I can't be reckless. Can't be entertaining. Because this is real people's lives. This is real work. And I sit in a very difficult space that most would not understand unless they were in my shoe. I wanna remind you, I was brought to the Dalton situation by law enforcement, elected officials, and, and concerned citizens who felt that I would be able to bring real aid in handling a sexual assault allegation against longtime advocate, Andrew Holmes, Dalton trustee, Andrew Holmes, serial worker, Andrew Holmes. This is not personal to me. I've expressed that in my investigation of this matter, that I've talked to 14 individuals who have laid various charges, accusations at the feet of Andrew Holmes. My main goal is to get the facts and to turn it over to the authorities 
who can do things criminally, civilly, etc. And upon our investigation early on, we wanted to see if the mayor of Dalton would ask for the resignation or the, consider the removal of Dalton trustee Andrew Holmes and or to give a response to these allegations in some shape, form or another, to which today we still have not done. No, they still have not, they, they still have not done. Okay, I'm waiting for something to come on my screen and then I'm gonna start. Two hundred people on here. I need y'all to share this live and put it in all of our pages. But yes, I was trying to figure out what receipt could I give y'all because I know a lot of things. What can I give the public? What would the public be able to do with it? What would help and not hurt the victims that have made the allegations? And what would ensure a path to us getting justice done? Because I want you to understand justice doesn't happen. Justice is done. And that's why I depend on God in this because he is a just God, a God of justice. And I need his, him to order my footsteps. So again, I'm gonna explain some of this stuff again before I, I start because I still don't see what I need, but I'm not gonna wait too much longer. The first thing we're gonna do, you guys have not been paying attention and you're just coming on and you don't know what's happening. I've come to Las Vegas because I've done a lot of investigating remotely, but a lot of this has to be done in person. We are, we have investigating sexual assault, accusations against Dalton trustee, Andrew Holmes. So I had to come to Las Vegas to figure out where we are in this case. And I want to tell y'all, not in sensationalism, but just in honesty. I don't have a lot of confidence in Las Vegas police investigation of this matter. Do you all know that even with the video that I've shown, that I have been given seven different names of who could potentially be investigating this case? As I told y'all, I've also made it clear to them that I have tips, evidence, that can aid their investigation. And in four days being here, do you know that not one of those tips have been turned over to Las Vegas police because they have not provided me with anybody who can receive them for this quote unquote um, detective who is not available for whatever reason. Maybe I should have showed y'all that. And damn it, I wish I would have pulled it on my screen. But I want you all to listen to what I'm going to tell you. The detective that we were told initially had this case, they said that they didn't recall that name. Now, Grant, they said 200 people worked there, and I guess it's hard to know everybody who works for, for a place, I guess. But the sexual assault unit, the sex crimes unit in Las Vegas is not very big. And now we have done the research that the very name that they said that they didn't even recall is employed, is listed but I still have not gotten to that person. It's crazy. So I've had to put pressure on the mayor's office. I've had to get into it with the district attorney's office today because the district attorney is saying, well, we need the victim to come. Well, it's crazy because I didn't ask for information. I'm trying to give it. Who is assigned to the case? Go to the mayor's office. We need to make it very clear that we need your police department to put pressure on this. Now, I'm not going to lay something at their charge, but I'm going to just tell you this. It doesn't seem like they have a lot of zeal to get to the bottom of this matter. And that is why people like myself exist. And that is why we are now considering the hiring of a even larger private investigative firm so that we can get the facts of this case led to wherever it goes, criminal charges or not. But let me talk about the law. And then I'm gonna go, then we're gonna start. 
Do you all know that when we were in Thornton Township meeting, there was an illegal vehicle that was being driven by the mayor's detail, a vehicle that the law says is unlawful. A gentleman who that works up, uh, serves on a page called Long Island Auditor, called the police to that illegal vehicle, the South Highland Police Department, who also shares resources with the Dalton Police Department. The Dalton Police, the, the South Highland Police Chief, married or formerly married to the Internal Affairs Officer Michelle Staples, who we have already made our case, is less than unethical. But they called and the watch commander told Long Island Auditor, you have to come in to make the report. They didn't send an officer to come and see this unlawful vehicle who has police lights on it and police plates because they know that Mayor Hinyard, at the very least is driving in a car that is illegal in its current state. But if the police would turn a blind eye to something as blatant as that, should we have any confidence in South Holland police working in conjunction with the Las Vegas police to get us to the bottom of if, in fact, there is a valid claim of sexual assault? And the answer so far is no. So first of all, I got to say this. I'm employed by y'all because you guys are the ones who are resourcing our investigation. Don't ignore me as a young black man and let people make y'all think that this is for anything other than what you see right here in your face. Consider contrib contributing to us having the resources to do this investigation and to advocate and to organize and to bring accountability. And so where we are right now, as it has been reported in multiple sources, and I'm telling you guys, if you cannot watch this full live to come back and please watch the rest, because I'm going to be releasing some receipts or a receipt to the best of my ability in this case, without compromising the people who are affected the most. And before I release that receipt, I'm going to have a long talk about how we got these receipts so that it is not misconstrued because I have to be accountable to the public if I'm asking for your resource, your trust, and your confidence, and the change. And so right now we are here at Planet Hollywood. This is the hotel here in Las Vegas where this sexual assault this alleged sexual assault took place. And first, before I release this receipt, I gotta get some information. I gotta get some information before I release this receipt. So you're not gonna fully understand it until I come back and explain why I had to do this and give the receipt. I don't know what I'm going to run into. We're going to do our best. Ashley, I will tell you that I am cooperating with every authority figure and I am working collaboratively with every authority figure in this case. It will serve us no purpose for me to run around and collect real evidence if I'm not gonna cooperate with all of those who are doing an investigation. Even if they don't give information back, I want you to understand, we got real shit. I know a lot. And anybody who gets any credit for this relationship cannot take credit for it without acknowledging the very real and brave citizens, victims, advocates, and everybody else who are helping bring out the truth in this entire map. I don't, I hope my signal don't go bad. I hope my signal don't go bad, but I'm gonna say it again. You're not gonna fully understand what's happening until I release the receipt. 
okay? When I release the receipt, this part will make sense. And let's hope we can get that far. All right, without any confrontation because I am not looking for confrontation. We're looking for answers. Your movement is not. This is the Planet Hollywood Hotel here in Las Vegas. Very nice building. This is where Tiffany Hinyard spent taxpayer money to bring her team. This is where they slept. And this is the place where the alleged sexual assault took place. This is the registration tape thing. I'm looking specifically for lost and found. There it is, right there in front of me. Okay. Lost and found right through this corridor. God damn it. Well, that didn't work too well. We got here too late, sitting outside talking. Didn't get that, okay. How you doing? Lost and found is closed. Excuse me, can you call the manager for me? You can register for Hell Week if you send an email to daltonst at gmail.com. Can you, uh, how long will you be there? I can come so you won't be there long. Is there a, uh, can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Somebody said they can't hear me. Excuse me, Queen. Please do me a favor and call the manager for me. Excuse me. I need to speak to a manager about lost and found, the procedure of it. Uh, yeah, something like that. And I know lost and found is closed, but I need to understand the procedure of it because it's a wallet that that's missing, and I don't understand how how the process for that. I would really just more so need to just talk to him. Yeah. I don't have a room at this time. So, so just go, you want to go to Lost the Found Lost Found door? You want to go to Lost Found? All right, I'll be there. Thank you. Again, you guys remember, this is a investigation. So, as I've already explained, as I've already explained, this part might not make sense, but it will make sense. When I leave up out of here. Thank God for her. She says she's gonna 
He's going to get me. YouTube live is frozen. And so when I think about all of the, when I think about all of the cases that we have to deal with, this is what I'll be trying to get people to understand. A lot of the times, if you don't, if you put pressure, then these police officers will be doing exactly what I'm doing. They can get a lot more information a lot quicker with cases, but if they don't feel pressed, your file gets lost in all the other files. And I don't know how many sexual assault allegations come up or around in Las Vegas, but this is Las Vegas of all places. And for them to have such a ridiculous and dismal uh, uh, response to tips or, or, or sexual assault investigations is quite alarming. And this is when people who reside here, because today it could be one person and tomorrow it could be you. This is why you must be engaged with the political process and demand that more resources be allocated for this type of thing. Public servants serve you. So this is why this should be educational and helpful. I'm still waiting on, I'm still waiting on somebody to come. Maybe the victim need to go down there and put pressure on them. I'm gonna just tell you this. The people who are experiencing this displeasure is doing everything in their power and they're doing everything that they can to fight this situation. And I might not be directly aware of everything that's going on, but I've done a lot of investigating. And I will tell y'all, and I'm not saying that's exactly what you're trying to do, but we ain't, we don't, victim blaming wouldn't be a good idea in this one because this one right here is crazy. She did exactly what she was supposed to do as it relates to what she understood to be right and how she was guided by officials. Where are you? I just came in higher. How you doing, Kim? We are at the Planet Hollywood Hotel. We are standing waiting for Lost and Found. We're doing our, we're doing, continuing our investigation. Uh, okay, nobody has come yet. So we're gonna go back to the front. While I'm doing this, I'm gonna ask you guys to consider resourcing this work resource in this fight. Okay, I'm gonna go back up and ask if she was able to get somebody because nobody came. Okay. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right, y'all. So uh, the hotel is going to send somebody. It's just going to be a couple minutes. But I'll tell y'all this. This hotel is nice. Yeah, you could get a you could get an enterprise car in this month. They got a Starbucks.
But yeah, y'all, this is a very nice hotel, y'all. Do y'all know it's collect it's connected to a whole mall? Uh, it's called the the Magnificent Mile. They got a whole mall in here. They got Starbucks in the lobby. This is nice. Okay, Tiffany. When they do it, they do it big, huh? Word on the curb is they on vacation now. Y'all saw Kamal put up his picture sitting in that uh, chair. Getting, you know what he's doing, right? He's getting his feet done or sitting there waiting on her to get her feet done or her nails done or both. They living a good life. Well, I tell you just in case that this is uh just in case this is uh just in case they watching this live, I would say get no chip. Get no chip. But you know what? I don't even know what it's called while I'm sitting up here uh, capping. I don't know if it's called no chip or what, but I had got a pedicure one time at the, and at the advice of the, the woman who took me there, she was like, let them get the clip polish on there. And I'm not a person who go get pedicures often. And I'm sitting up here trying to get rid of this stuff on my feet. And it's like taking literally more than a month and a half. And I look down at my feet because I let it grow and clip it. Then eventually I had half half gel, half new new nail, all the way up to the point where I had me a French a French tip of, of gel. I never do that stuff again. Okay, still nobody came. I'm still here waiting. The polish is going to be for for a long time. Exactly. Okay, still nobody. So I need some information about how Lost and Found works here. Um, and I think that it also will help you all understand the receipt that we're going to drop today. And again, I, I said that I'm going to take my time on this live. And if you are not able to watch the full thing, make sure you come back at some point and finish watching it. Valerie, I don't know if you are looking, but if you could do me a huge favor and make sure, okay, there goes some movement right there. Can I get some help? Can I, no, I just saw two people walk past. Yeah, but uh, let me see. Have you eaten and slept? Have you eaten and slept? It's really hard for me to sleep when I'm on a case. I probably, I don't sleep while I'm on a case. I just catnap. I catnap. So I got a few catnaps in. Uh, to be honest, I be forgetting about eating. That's why I'm so little. Because I be forgetting to eat. I, I, I have not eaten today. So when I get off of here, I will go and try to find me something to eat. Something to snack on. I did forget to eat, but it's okay. All right. Just I ain't the most patient human being on earth. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's just, uh, okay, I can, uh, I can, uh, I can't wait, got too much to do.
can I get it? She got somebody for, for lost round, but is there just a manager I can talk to because ain't nobody came back to you? I want to speak to a manager. Uh, it's about lost and found procedure, and I, want to, I, I lost something, and I need to understand how it works. Yeah, they're closed. And she said somebody was coming, but... And thank you so much, Queen. A lounger over there? Oh, yeah, it's, it's locked. Yeah. So I'll just come back in about 10 minutes and see. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, y'all do me a favor and share this live. Share the live. Let me get up out of here. Sure as hell ain't got the good music. Excuse me, how y'all doing? Excuse me. Do y'all know how lost and found works? In terms of when like a wallet is found? Yeah, uh, so security would or whoever wherever it's uh the wallet's got returned to security. Security is the wall uh lost and found are open at certain times. Uh if they're not open, check back tomorrow. I think they come in at ten or eleven, I want to say. Well, I'm just talking about like the procedure. So like I'm trying to figure out so if you find a wallet. Of course, it would have like identification in it. Does the person have to come down and claim it, or do they look in there and see if you got a room and get it to you? Like, trying to figure out how do y'all do it here? Okay, so it's kind of there's no policy, it's just kind of determined on how proactive the person is. No, I, I had a wallet lost, but it's kind of strange things are surrounding it, so I'm just wondering, did they were they supposed to call and say that they found it? Okay. Right. Like, when, right, right, right. Or if it even has identification in it, like who knows at this point. Right. That's concept. why. That's why I was wondering about if there was a policy around the issue. Yeah. So it's actually locked. Um, you know, it's security. Like they do locks. Like locks into locks. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then yeah, I think they do see if anybody is in house with any disability or something. And then they might call you or they wait for you to show up. Right. But, you know what I'm saying? Would they, uh, but does the policy say they might call you if they find you at us as a, okay, you don't know? Okay. I would imagine they would try to open I knew y'all worked here because y'all shot. Thank you. <laughs> That was the ladies that walked right past the um that was the ladies that walked right past when I was looking in the office. Those are managers. So basically I can tell uh I'm I'm gonna wait to go back in there when the security get there so that I can get a uh answer to if there is a policy. That's what I need. I need to know if there is a policy in this hotel. Share this live, y'all. Let's get these numbers up because we finna. We finna uh get this out, and I only wanna have to say this stuff twice. I mean, one time to the best of my ability. But uh, yeah, they shop up in here. They got money. You feel me? So listen, I'm trying to find out if there's a policy around lost and found items. I'm trying to figure out how they handle missing wallets with identification in them, because sometimes in these hotels, 
if your wallet is missing, it is a policy by which they will actually have the ability to open up your wallet, look at your identification, see if you are a registered guest, and then call you to come and retrieve your item. But then there are some places who do it differently where they wait for you to come, but it's just been logged into their system. This is a very crucial piece of evidence in our investigation into these sexual, sexual assault allegations. So right now, I'm going to release a receipt. And then I'm going to go back in there and continue to try to figure out the answer to my question as it relates to the policy question. Before I release the receipt, receipt I'm going to ask you all again to share this live. What are we talking about? I got to explain some things again so that we're all on the same page. This is not because I'm trying to be entertaining for y'all. This is not because you guys have given us the resources and I just need to do something. This isn't because I need clout or attention. This is us investigating and getting the, 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 the facts to the people, thanking y'all for the resource because obviously I have to work for y'all if I'm getting the resource from you, but I need you all to understand this as well. We got to do something about this. We don't just hear this and do nothing. But outside of that, we have to put the pressure. If we get the facts and you're given facts, we got to have the conversations. We got to share it on our pages. We have to put the pressure. We got to make motherfuckers uncomfortable. We got to call in places and say, look, authorities, as a citizen, this is important to us. It cannot be swept under the rug. It needs to be priority. How is it that you can see shootings go in our community unsolved? And then when somebody who was elected has something happen to them, they can automatically solve it because they put all the resources they got on that situation and they make it a priority. That is how this works. And so please hear me. This isn't for you to be entertained. And I don't like who I don't and I, I don't say this to be disrespectful. I just say to be honest, I don't give a damn who like it and who don't. I have a very, very, very skilled, a very, very skilled, professional, adequate set of teams behind me. I've been doing advocacy for a very long time. I have investigators, both civilian and law enforcement. I have elected officials in various capacities. I have retired individuals from different levels of government. I have hackers. People who are on the a level of anonymous. You hear me? That is not a lie. I asked y'all to share it and the numbers are going down. I don't understand that. I need y'all to share this lie because we're going to talk about Andrew Holmes. And I need to be very clear. I don't think that this man should be freely roaming around Chicago, especially right now, sir, showing up to people's pain with these allegations over him that he has not even had the balls to respond to. And I want y'all to know why I think he should be uncomfortable. But they fucked up when they let a Jedediah Brown get an anonymous level type of research. The type of shit that goes into government. So with that being said, I don't want to betray the trust of these victims. I don't want to mess up their cases. So I have to be very careful what I put out. People gonna like it, some people not. I don't give a fuck about the conversation because that's not the point. The more you talk about it, I guess, the more awareness there's to the case, so that's fine. But understand this, if I put this out, this is just the first receipt, and I don't get y'all understanding that we gotta fight for these people, I'm going to be very much more careful about what I'm going to do as it relates to putting it out. But I, I got it. So here it goes. That piece of evidence is very crucial for this particular part of the receipt. And so what I have decided to do, and I, this is not me, and, 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 and I want to say this to, to those involved. I understand this. I just got a bomb ass team. We can get I just feel like we can get anything anywhere at any time. I know stuff that you would not imagine that I know. 
that's why I have a hard time remembering shit because I got too much information. So this might shock people because here it is. This is gonna be one of the things that we have obtained in our investigation. And I know people are gonna try to figure out how the hell I got it. You won't figure it out. And that's why I gotta be very careful with how I deliver this because I know that this is gonna shake up a lot of people. Suspects, victims, officials, citizens, this is gonna shake up a lot of people because how the hell is Jedediah getting this stuff? And I just showed y'all something. So y'all them, that other thing I just showed y'all, how the hell is Jedediah getting this stuff? Okay, so. Before I do that, Okay. I have also talked to my lawyers and lawyers, my team members, my investigators, and we've basically done the best of what we could to make sure if what we put out, I don't want to damage these victims. I don't want to even hurt them. Ms. Red, come on now, show us. I need you to be patient. I understand the larger conversation. I don't want to hurt them. I don't want to offend them. I don't want them to feel betrayed, exposed. I don't want them to feel uncovered. I don't want them to feel unsupported. So within myself, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying to myself, okay, I kept, I kept my word. So I'm going to show you guys, basically, this is a recording, and I want you all to understand what I'm telling you right now. This is a recording from the incident, from the day of the in from the time of the incident. Hackers and investigators of mine were able to receive this information. And I'm going to play you this first part. But understand this is an investigation. This is a marathon, not a sprint. But this is going to show you all that I'm not lying. But there is way more hardcore information that needs to come out and that will. I'm going to play this audio, explain to the best of my ability what it is that you're hearing from our investigation. And then I'm going to tell you all what it means and what we do from there. So with that being said, here's the first snippet of audio. And I'm gonna stop it right there. I'm gonna play that audio one more time, but I wanna give you all an understanding of what we have in our timeline and our investigation. What you're hearing is the victim who made the allegation call a colleague at the time, a police officer that was also there. And what the victim is basically saying, or this alleged victim is saying to this cop, the cop says, Whoa, 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 I don't know what's going on. This is at the moment when they're leaving. This is the next day. 
I just lost my thing. Shit. I just lost, I just lost my, uh, I just lost my thing, y'all. I lost my, this is the next day. They're leaving. She calls her colleagues, basically woken up in what is said on their Andrew's room. She says while on this call, I don't know how I woke, like he said, you woke up in Andrew's room, I woke up in Andrew's room. I don't have my wallet. I have my phone. He said, well, you got your phone, but you don't have your wallet. When I had the opportunity to have talking to this young lady, we talked about how she is as a person. Losing the wallet is a big flag. But this is the thing. She's waking up in Andrew's room. The first part of it is hard to hear because she is, she is frantic. She's discombobulated. She's disoriented. And so she's saying, I'm, I woke up in Andrew's room. And the thing that's crazy about that, from my understanding, is Andrew says he took her to his room because he didn't know where her room is. I have proof. Andrew Holmes knew exactly where her room is. So there was no need to take her to his room first thing second thing she doesn't have a wallet everybody's getting ready to leave she lit he's saying i'm getting yelled at basically it's a little frantic time this is what the officer is saying i'm getting yelled at by free men and all this other stuff what's going on at this particular time they're trying to figure it out nobody really understands what's going on she doesn't fully understand what's going on so literally this young lady this young lady calls this cop something feels off he says how do you have your phone and not your wallet and she said it's not right something is not right you can hear the distress in her voice that is the first thing that i'm playing you all as a receipt listen to me the reason why this policy is important to me is because i want to know who turned her wallet in i want to know what is their policy? Because if they found her wallet, because I already know in our investigation that her wallet was found and lost and found. So if her wallet was found, if the, if the policy says that they're supposed to call the person when they identify them, then that means that they didn't have enough time to call. That means somebody turned it in and that means that him leading her to the lost the found to get the wallet suspect in itself i want you all to understand this also when i had the opportunity to speak to this this individual and i hope that she is not mad at me right now and i gotta figure that out but y'all i'm in a hard space i'm just in a hard space understand this when they woke up when she was woke up by andrew holmes she said she said when she was woke up at Andrew Holmes, and let me take that back because no, that's not what I want to do or say. I want to tell you guys this from my own opinion of what I ascertained from this investigation. Listen to what I'm saying. If she, if her wallet, if she was taken to his room, this is me now talking, not her. If Andrew Holmes took her to the room because he didn't know where her room was, then why did Andrew Holmes look for her wallet in his room? Because if I just brought you in my room because you needed to lay down, why would I be looking in my room for your wallet? So there's circumstantial evidence here. I'm not literally going to put out nothing else. I got to be very careful about how I, how I tread in this. But this is a recording. I said I'm going to play it for you guys again. I'll play it for you again. But what I want you all to hear me say is that this clearly sounds like a woman in distress. Something is wrong. She literally doesn't sound like everything is fine, right? So now you have something. If you can't figure out nothing else, this is what you should figure out. This claim deserves to be. No, it's not to. This is why I don't like the public. Fred, I got more indicators in front of me than you will ever have in your life. Stop putting things out that discredit or distract. 
You don't know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. Don't do that. It's not allowed in this life. This is too fucking serious for that. I don't play with that shit. You don't know. You're. You don't know. You don't have what I have. Don't do that. If it's TMI, block me from this day and don't pay attention to this investigation no more. I'm already under enough stress. What I'm doing is what I committed to fucking do. And it's a hard ass place to be in. I don't need people who not doing shit to say nothing. If you're not going to help, shut the fuck up. And that's what I mean by my whole heart. It's not easy, bro. This is the hardest shit ever. But if I can get this in my with my team and my investigators, then why the fuck? Don't we have viable answers to this situation? And I literally say it. I have evidence. I have tips. And I'm in Las Vegas for three fucking days fighting to get in contact with a goddamn detective. It's not cool. I got a call. Now I got to figure out how much damage people feel, how much worry they feel, all the stuff that's going to go on behind us. I got to deal with all that. You don't have to. You're going to be able to enjoy your weekend, motherfucker. I literally don't get no rest, no sleep, no nothing. I'm jaded as fuck. Please listen to what I'm saying. I want y'all to understand that I'm not lying to y'all. I want to thank y'all for giving us resources so that we can do the stuff we're doing. We're doing the best we can. And now I need y'all to hear me. This woman has gone through hell. I know she went through hell. She's still going through hell. And we got to give them fucking back up. I got to figure out, I, I saw on the news where uh, 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 the mayor said, the mayor said, uh, that these are two disgruntled employees trying to make off of taxpayer dollars. Y'all, I got some, I got some hardcore shit. I cannot put it all out, but understand this. She said these are two disgruntled employees. I'm trying to find, I'm trying to figure out now, I didn't, now we're expanding our investigation into this officer. She called him and this is why I need y'all to understand this. He did the right thing. Where is he at? What, what's, what's going on with this man? Why aren't we having that conversation? You hear what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to figure out, wait a minute. This calls with employees. We always fucking up cops when they don't do right. Then what do we do when they do? What, I mean, when they don't do right. But what when they, what do we do when they actually do right? And then I was reading in the Dalton politics page. It said that they were targeting him. Bro, I don't know. We got to figure out what the fuck is going on. We can't just be playing on Internet games. We got to help these people. But now. Why Andrew Holmes want to start going outside acting like he ain't scared of shit and get restrained and all this fouled on me? This is a snippet of the shit that I'm, that I know about. A snippet. And it's hard as hell. Listening to the woman's voice tremble. Listening to the, listening to the disoriented conversation she having. When she first opened her mouth, she barely was audible. I just want y'all to know that this is not a fake thing. And that this young lady's claims should not be overlooked. And the people that's doing the investigation, they should have real pressure. I don't expect to get everybody. But I'm begging y'all. Is if I put out, and that's why we're getting ready for Hell Week. If I'm putting out more, because I've asked y'all to help me get this shit and we getting it. I got to know it's a point to it. Now I'm begging y'all. I ain't done nothing else. Everything that you all contribute is going to organize hell week. And it is now, I, I am going to have to make, make sure that these, I'm a, I gotta figure this out. We gotta help them. We gotta help them. I know that they're going through shit just based on our investigation. We got to help them. And that's why I asked y'all, if y'all go buy that damn t-shirt, the, the proceeds of that, Hell Week is only, I'm not even going to put a lot of money to Hell Week. I'm giving that to this victim. And I don't know how she going to feel after, you know, she, I don't know. I don't even know if putting this out is going to make her relive it. But understand this, y'all. This Everybody that's going to beat try to beat on me about this, you, you don't know the background. You know how, how hard this is for me. And you don't know all the moving parts. But when you, I show up at the fucking Las Vegas Police Department, it ain't because this shit, I ain't got nothing to do. It's because I know something that most people probably fucking don't. I know it. I'm, I'm in this shit now. Okay, I made the case. I'm going to play this one more time. But listen to what she's saying. She's saying, he's saying, you woke up in Andrew's room? Yeah, I woke up in Andrew's home. Why do you, you know, I don't have my wallet. I got my phone. And based on our 
I, I'm not her spokesperson. Somebody, Jessica said, you are her voice. No, I'm not. And I want to make that clear. And that's what I meant to say that too. I do not officially speak for her. I do not speak, 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 officially speak for him. They're lawyers and nothing else. I don't speak for none of them. I, I am doing this as an advocate. I'm just damn good at what I do. And I got a hell of a team. I got a hell of a team. Y'all think we fucking with police chiefs and all that shit. And, and we don't know what the fuck we're doing. We got a hell of a team. A whole mayor. We know what we're doing. I know what's going on. So I'm going to play this one more time. I even saw somebody who I highly respect say, don't play it again, but I have to because I said that I was going to do this. But this is the first receipt. Here y'all, so, so what does this do, Jedi? Now y'all got proof of what I said. There's tapes. There's tapes. And guess who got them? So Andrew Holmes think that he going to be out there saying to the news, I ain't worried about it? Really, motherfucker? That, that was your response? You ain't worried about it? No empathy, no understanding, no, uh, I'm innocent. You don't, you ain't worried about it. You fucking will be. You fucking will be. Because I got your tape, motherfucker. And I'm telling you, on the lie, you have some interesting things to say about this situation. And why you want to harass Helen, with her weak ass letting you back in that house? Helen, I know he called your phone almost every 15 minutes. Ask yourself, how does Jetta Dyer know? But if I ain't lying, I guess that ain't the point. But Helen, you let that man come back in your house? Because at the very least, let's just say hypothetically he didn't sexually assault her. You mean to tell me that he was on a work trip and he was fucking on somebody else? He cheated on you and you letting him back in your shit? And you gonna go get yourself added to a restraining order against me when I was trying to help you with your ignorant ass prep bees on your desk, prep bees on work, motherfucker relations, the relationship does. That dry ass Bob with his dry ass afro, now I'm on your ass because you are now harboring a motherfucker who will disrespect and take advantage of a black woman. Cause what you need a dick. Fuck you, royally. Y'all filed the paperwork, so you my enemy too now. But this is the crazy thing to me. Call this woman every 10 to 15 minutes and she ain't even standing on, bro, you need to respond. This, you need to address what you what they saying. If you gonna believe a nigga that's, 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 that's trying to sway your fucking mind, at least you can make him handle his business. I like real women who make men take care of your kids and take care of the way you treat other women. Because guess what? If he done it to one motherfucker, he probably do it to another motherfucker. And eventually he going to do something to your dusty ass. Every time I listen to any of these tapes, it hurts me. Pisses me off. Because we shouldn't be waiting this long for these people to get results. And when I sat there and found out or realized that that girl was standing in that crowd, she was at that crowd when I came to Dalton. And she sat there with fucking tears in her fucking face. And the mayor who clearly obstructed justice according to my investigation. The fuck she talking about? I ain't signed no goddamn. She I ain't had no credit card. I ain't doing this. She's trying to act like she's so innocent. That's her number one motherfucking line. She ain't no. But bitch, you knew about, oh shit, I didn't mean to call her bitch. But you knew about this. And you obstructed justice at the very least. And for that, you should go to jail. You didn't even give the opportunity for a fair and thorough investigation. But that shit gonna come out too. Well, y'all over there talking about how duh, how great she doing because she giving y'all fucking stolen washing machines and televisions off y'all taxpayers and y'all motherfucking bills is going up. Get the fuck out of here and miss me with this shit. I'm irritated, bro. This shit hurts me, bro. It hurts me. It hurts me because I have the curse and the gift of empathy. But I'm gonna let y'all listen to this shit one more time. But don't tell me that we're not fucking working and we're not, and I'm just doing this shit. All the people who want to be a buffer for Andrew Holmes, respond to this woman. Have you ever talked to her? Calm down, please calm down. I'm on my way back. I don't know what the hell going on. You call me crying, keep calling me 
trying to cuss me out to my mom. Why? Okay. So you woke up, you're not in your room, you at Andrew's room? And that's where I cut it off. It ain't right. It don't sound right. That's not right. Shaking voice, clearly crying. Something's not right. I don't know what's happening. This is when she called her colleague this officer. And the officer is trying to wrap his mind around it. But at the end of the day, y'all don't even try to villainize him because he's the only motherfucker in this whole situation that had the balls to blow the whistle and stand on doing the right thing. And the crazy part about it is he was trying to protect the administration because he was a bodyguard. I know that from my investigation. He literally brought this up because he didn't want what Andrew Holmes could have potentially did to destroy the work of this mayor. And you know what this mayor did? This mayor, according to our investigation, allegedly, she tried to cover it up because she didn't want to destroy her legacy. And if y'all look in the page or go follow the fucking crumbs, I don't know what's going on with this officer, but all I know is Tiffany said they two disgruntled employees trying to make off with taxpayer money. And I heard that they've been trying to go after that man. He's a hero. We want good cops. And then this young lady, she has suffered in silence for over a year, fighting like a tank, like a fish in a fishbowl trying to be heard. I know it because of my investigation. And all I want to bring out with this is my first allegation. Andrew Holmes told her that he brought her to his room because he didn't know where her room was. That, I can prove, is a lie. You were at her room earlier, so you knew where the fuck her room was at. And it's real interesting to me that if you she needed help that bad, you would take her to the room and not call the authorities or call the team. You got whole fucking police officers on the team that could have came and at least checked to make sure a motherfucker was okay. Because you want to play like you ain't bothered, but answer this question. Why did she need to go to your room? Why she couldn't go to Carmen's room? Carmen was there. You know, the chief's, the, 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 the mayor's assistant, executive assistant, chief of staff. Oh, I'm, I'm talking to right, ain't I? Huh? You not worried, bitch? No, you ought to be terrified. 14 people. 14 people. 14 fucking people. And I know for a fact in our investigation that dusty ass Andrew Holmes took her to lost and found. But check this. He didn't even let her talk. Why did he rush to ask lost and found? Did they find it? If he was walking behind her to lost and found y'all got to hear what I, I mean, when he was, if he was walking behind her, when they went to lost and found, why did Andrew Holmes have to talk first? Now ask yourself, Andrew, how do I know that? I can get anything anywhere at any time. I love the way that these people talk on my team because they say we are anonymous. And then they say something else. We are legion. So you can try to fuck with me if you want to. But I'm going to give you this warning one more time. 
The moment something happens to me, Mayor, Police Chief, Lieutenant Staples, Andrew Holmes, because we we paying attention and we see what you're up to. Remember I said this. I'm going to be the last motherfucker you're going to have to worry about because all this shit going to go out public. And then what you going to do? Y'all better leave me the fuck alone. And to the public, here go my request. Register for Hell Week. Get the t-shirt. Resource the work. All I need money for is to continue this investigation, organize Hell Week. And now I want to help get these victims resources. We need to have their back. Now, the way y'all handle this receipt will determine if I can have enough confidence to give you more. Call Las Vegas police. This is an important investigation. And put this shit on every fucking page. Every fucking page. Let this become the talk of America. Because I want y'all to hear me in this last statement. If we get this one right, everybody who was a victim of sexual assault, I want you all to know you all got backup. So I see rolling eyes from Felicia Stovall, and I see a face looking down for Felicia Stovall. I see a from Felicia Stovall. These are people who I can't stand. So I want to spend three seconds on them. Blocked. I ain't got time for it no more. You literally. Okay, I'll block it when I get off of here. All right, I see it. Thank you. We're not going to block it because we want to check the IP address and see if we can figure out who this is. This is what I'm trying to figure out. You can give. You can do the fucking best and the worst. And you still get a dumbass idiot. What on here could you have a problem with? I wish you could pick the... Ooh. Oh, Jesus Christ. You literally, you literally have people talking. Good stuff. So I met you. I introduced myself to you at the town hall. Can I hug you? That's all. Ooh, that is. The council meeting.